Hello guys, this is another episode where I interview professionals and the whole reason why I'm doing this is to help you guys know that there are people who are really skilled out here that can make your life a lot easier. This guy right here is the carpenter who did most of the work in my house, except the doors, he did everything. Almost 90% of the woodwork in the house was all done by him and his name is Prosper Asime. Prosper, welcome to the channel. Thank you. Okay. So um, when I was introduced to you and they showed me some of your work, I was really impressed. Your work doesn't really look like, you know, the average Ghanaian work. What did you learn, you know, your carpentry skills? Uh, okay. Actually, uh, my, dad, my dad was a carpenter and uh, I grew up with him and going forward, I went to technical school from there after school. I went to school for four years and then after school, I went to work with one Korea company which called Korea, uh, KG Furniture, which is Korea Ghana Furniture. Okay. And I worked with them for six years and then from then, I started working on my own. Okay. Yeah. So you've been doing carpentry your whole life, it seems yeah, like? What I, I, I started, that is what I grew, I grew up with. Wow, okay, yeah. now that makes mm -hmm. sense. Because the work that you did for me is so impressive that it looks like, you know, you bought it from outside or from like a care store or something like yeah. that. Yeah. So I want to bring you on this channel to kind of get your background and also to give access to people out there in the diaspora who might not know people like you exist down here that can, you know, actually do such great job. So um, how did you grow up? Where did you grow up? You grew up, what part of Ghana did you grow up? I grew up here in Asheimo. Oh, Asheimo. Oh, born okay. in Asheimo. I grew up in Asheimo. Oh, okay. Very interesting. The work is pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. So let's say I have a house and I'm trying to furnish all of it. What kind of work do you do? Oh, okay. Like office, office, mm -hmm. you know. When it, when it comes to office, I can, I, 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 I can work, I can do your low cabinet, your file cabinet, your desk, that is your office desk, that right. is that being a workstation, or your doorways, that is your bubble doorways, okay. where you can keep your files, uh, that is three feet door with a central lock, okay. and do that one too for you, when it comes to your office, and then when it comes to your home, I do wardrobe, kitchen cabinet, uh, your, how is it called, your mini bar, okay. all those stuff here. Yeah, oh, okay, it, yeah, yeah, because yeah. you did give me some, yeah. yeah. And then you did the depot, Amahala as well. Yes, yes, that is your small island. It's even a block work. I can do and the quotes for you. Even if, if there's no, even if there's no block, and you want us to build an island with the wood, I can build it for you. Okay. And then awesome, awesome, nice. And then the kitchen cabinets and all cabinets, that stuff. All those stuff we do it. Okay, bed, bed wardrobe, wardrobe, kitchen cabinets, wood island, and that's all that. So it doesn't matter what kind of color I work, right? No, it so, doesn't matter. The, how the color before we, we work, we start work for you. Before we work for you, we show you variety of the colors. That is the material. Right. Actually, the material is not made here. It's, it's imported. Imported. Yeah. So we show you the colors and then the types. Okay. So you choose the one that will suit, will suit you or the one you want. Right. That is what you're going to work with. Right. Yeah. 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 I can tell that the material is definitely important. So you buy the imported raw materials yeah, and then and you then make it out of that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's quite impressive. The reason why I enjoyed using you is not only because your work is, you know, amazing, also because you actually deliver it, right? Like when you buy the materials and all that stuff, you take money up front. Yeah. Um, and you, you went through with everything, which is usually not the case in Ghana. Mm -hmm. When people get money, unfortunately, you know, they might deliver one or two, then it becomes a mm -hmm. problem mm -hmm. trying to chase them around. So, and you are definitely very professional and I didn't have to deal with that at all. So I enjoyed working with you very much so that I, I started like suggesting you to a couple of people. So where did you learn that from? Because I mean, you've never lived outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So where did you learn that from to be so serious with your work that, you know, where you take people money? Because like I said, that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, our local artisans sometimes uh, they, they do not deliver. When I was coming up that is working with my dad that is back back then you pay people's like people place order and then maybe like you not deliver on time the people will come and you'll be like swerving those stars yeah, when yeah, i was yeah. coming up i said no i don't have to go like that and not that only that not only that 
my friends and then even colleagues, people around me, they are they doing the same thing. I said, oh no, I don't have to go like that. If I want to, yeah, if you want to go forward, you don't have to go like that. Yes, you want to I go just psyched my brain and I said, no, I have to work then. This is what I have to do. You give me, I take your money, I take 50%. I work, then you pay me 20% on delivery or after delivery. It, it, it depends. Right. So that is how. That's I, how you operate. Yep. Yeah. So that's, if I take your work, if, if I can work, if I know I can work within two weeks, I will tell you, bro, please, I can work within two weeks. Right. So that I'll be able to deliver on time. Right. Yes. Yes, yes. Very impressive because your timing is always like, right? Yes. Or it might be like delivery issue and like one day late or something, but yeah. it's nothing crazy. And definitely delivers. So I think that's something that our local artisans can learn from because, you know, it's, I don't know how you can survive. Like my dolls, my dolls here, the guy, he's very skilled. Like everybody come here and they say, oh, your bet, your, your dolls, nice. your dolls are very nice. And who's your carpenter? And I don't recommend him. You know why? Because after he delivered he didn't deliver five of the doors oh, wow. and he took the money away so then that it ends there you're not getting any suggestions from me and no any recommendation yeah you are very skilled but you know you're not going to go very far no, no, no. if you are doing that so it's very good that you have that mindset i think that's a huge problem that we we have here people who don't deliver and uh i'm glad you are the way you are you go very far mm-hmm. and that's why I decided to, you know, bring you around and, you know, let people know the kind of person you are. And also, uh, most of us kind of ship a lot of stuff down here because we think we cannot find what we need down here. You know, like his work is kind of like, like he said, he learned from a Korean company. So his, his work is just like important stuff about Kia and all that, but much cheaper. So it becomes unnecessary for you to buy a whole bunch of stuff like your bed and all that stuff and ship it here. And as you guys are seeing on the screen, I'm showing some of his work already, and it's no different from the stuff that you're buying out there and shipping it in. So it becomes unnecessary. So um, I'm bringing him to you guys, so you don't have to go through all that unnecessary headache of buying stuff, you know, bed and all that stuff is pretty big. So the cost and shipment, and then bringing it down here, you can just reach out to me, and we in partnership with him to you know make your life easier. So um, just wanted to put face to the work. So you guys know who you're working with. Prosper, so yeah. you're a family man, right? Yep, I'm a family man. Yeah. The kids. The kids. Yeah, three strong boys. Okay. <laughs> great, great, great. I'm always happy when mm-hmm. I see people who never really traveled outside, but they have a certain mind- mindset because I stress the fact that, yes, Ghana is a developing country to be tough. But if you are like the way you are, hardworking, tell the truth, yep. you'll go far, right? right? I mean, you you do okay for yourself. But... Uh, most of us, you know, blame the, the country and but it's, it's our mindset. Sure. That, it's that mindset us, yeah. you know. Because if you should give me a work and maybe even I would, I, I'm, not, I'm not able to deliver, you never give me any work again. Yeah. And you don't even recommend me to any other person again. Exactly. Sure. It stops there. I mean, I don't think you have to be a genius to know that. It's, it's common sense. Common sense. So, yeah. So, um, thank you for coming on the channel. This is very simple and short. I just wanted to show his work and also show you who Prasper is. Yeah. And if you ever need any woodwork done, your wardrobe, doors, office, you know, therefore, as I'm shown on the screen, you know, kindly reach out to me in the email. And then we have a company that will link you and make sure everything is all sorted out and you are taken good care of. So as you already know, if you're not subscribed to the channel already, kindly do so. Like this video as it helps with the algorithm. Comment, let me know what you think. Hit the bell for the notifications. And until next time, I the legend. Peace.